you know, that old saying, call it in the ring. You don't ever hear anybody say that anymore. Nobody says we're collared in the ring because no, it's got to be called back here. Uh, and every, every move has got to be approved or whatever, except for AEW, I guess. But it, it, it's crazy. All the stuff that I think they put too much stuff in it. You know what I find wrong with modern day wrestling is announcers, especially Michael Cole and whoever. He's gotten better lately, but he's, he's, and I know he's got a lot of stuff to promote, but sometimes you miss what's going on in the ring because he's promoting something else. And they talk, it's so staccato that you miss uh, a lot of what he's saying. That's why I miss good commentators, color guys like Heenan and Lawler. They would say something. Totally off topic, but kind of funny. And it made listening to the match a lot more enjoyable than this, just to hear two guys call it, you know, hold for hold or play by play. Uh, it, it drives me nuts. I don't know if I've asked you this before, but if we're talking about commentators, who are your favorite commentating duo? Is it like uh, Lance, maybe, and Dave Brown? They were good. They were, they were really good because they didn't over-talk each other. And for a little independent regional pr uh, promotion, they were you, you understood what they said. You understood they would lay out match stipulations. They were good. I really liked, I uh, always liked when Lawler was on commentary with JR. They were good. Lawler was good with Michael Cole, too. And... Uh, I did commentary with uh, Bob Caudill at Smoky Mountain. That was enjoyable because I, I told I told Bob, I said, and we never talked over anything before we went out there. I said, Bob, just call the match and I'll fill in. And he would say something. Then I would say something stupid. and But we never argued. You know, sometimes J.R. and Lala would kind of get into it. And, uh, but me and Bob, no matter how, what a stupid comment I made, you know, Bob would never argue back or he would say something and then we would, we would go on. But a lot of people said, we I really enjoyed the commentary with me and Bob Cole because it's, you know, there's a difference for being funny and being stupid, funny. A lot of sometimes it's stupid, funny. And I am too, but to me, that's, you got to you got to have a, you got to get it. And a lot of people got it. So they enjoy, in, enjoyed it. Uh, who, who was your childhood I, uh, wrestling commentator? Who was the first voice that you remember hearing? I think Caudill. Caudill was the one. Because, hey, I, when I was a kid, TV was in black and white. Came on at 11 o'clock at night. And it came on from, I grew up in the Carolina, so it was a Greenville, South Carolina TV station, Channel 4, and then Channel 13 out of Asheville, North Carolina. I'm from that corner of North Carolina, South Carolina, that kind of peaks in the corner, which is a very rough part of the state, I might add. But Bob Cotto was probably the one – he was from – what we would call Charlotte back in the day. We didn't call it Mid-Atlantic, but it's the Mid-Atlantic. That's what people refer to it now, the Mid-Atlantic territory. So, and then Johnny Weaver was on. I mean, this is going back years and years and years ago before you were born. And hell, I was a kid. That's who I listened to. 